everyone. Happy Earth Day. Um. Yeah. Hello. Hello. Hi. What up? Hello. 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 Hi, Hello, all nine Hi, of you. Happy Earth Day. I hope you've done some recycling already. No, hold on. Hello, all three <laughs> of you who are not called Cast Cast. <laughs> they'll come in. They'll come in. <laughs> No. So, Welcome to the stream, boys. Yes, hello. It's Earth Day. <laughs> I'm excited. Um, yeah, child, apologies if so my internet cuts excited. off because it's a little bit weird. Um, Same for me. I am a bit Same. because it's way too hot. And let's get... Oh, God, you're in England. What? It's a heat wave. This is another reason why we should protect Earth Day. It's too hot in Britain. Too hot. Oh yeah. Uh, how hot is it in your Iceland? Just give of time head pads. It's like twenty-four <laughs> degrees, and it's not too bad. Twenty. Like... <laughs> oh, no, no, no. Earlier in the week, it was twenty-nine, and I was like just lying on the floor. It was not fun. Are you These are rookie numbers. Me? It's fucking April. We always have a heat wave. Oh, sorry, I swore. Um, we always. Have... <laughs> <laughs> what? What the frick did you just say? I I didn't say anything. Um, in in a, in like May we usually have a heat wave, but it's April. This is why we need to save Earth Town, guys. Because what does it warm. get like twenty eight degrees? You're gonna kill the fool with the like hot weather. Please don't. It's not please, hot. Please do not Jesus kill Christ. the British. Yeah, that'll be a great loss. We like <laughs> complaining about the weather, so leave us alone. Just drop all that tea in the ocean. No, <laughs> I'm still insulted about the storyboard. Anyway, consider um, it done. <laughs> <laughs> Use your tea bags to recycle, you twats. We do. They go in the compost. Yeah, and you put them on well, flowers, and boom, fertilizer. Yeah. Rooks be Flowers are essential. Yes. I mean, they get cool. kind of smelly if you don't change them every day, but it's really cool. And then you can grow your own vegetables, and they taste really nice. I'm pretty sure the mm -hmm. tea bags help. Mhm. Mm cool story, bro. Anyway, you come to Australia in winter. Yeah. I knew we were missing something. Hello, everyone. I'm Space Flower or Rose or whatever. I'm the voice actor of Earth Chan, so I'm probably sure you know that yet. And I'm really hyped about Earth Day. Um, Kasa? Yeah, you should know, be, know me by now. I'm Team Artist and Visiting Olicon, and I'm very unprepared for this. <laughs> I'm Owo, and I'm not crazy despite what anyone says i'm also the voice actor for pluto the greatest planet uh morgan what up i'm the driver morgan <laughs> <laughs> uh i'm i'm fortnight i'm a moderator this is my second time on the uh, um podcast <laughs> so I, had, I had barely three hours of sleep tonight so i'm horribly unprepared and tired sorry also, fuck you, Rook and Chat. Hey, yeah, PG you stream. Too. Ah, no, what no, you get? No, sorry. <laughs> screw screw you. Keep that to a minimum. We're gonna have a meme, the heck. a meme jar for swears. So every time you swear, you have to come up with a new meme. Yeah. yeah. Right, nice. no, well, Sounds good. good. Sounds good. No, every time you swear, I have to play or do me not again. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I'm gonna. And uh. I'm gonna keep a swear to high. I'm Niendo, project lead, voice actor for NASA. I meme a lot too, but I get work done sometimes. He's the resident, <laughs> he's the resident cat girl. Resident that too. Cat girl Talking idol. about work, what have we done Team this Daddy, week? as Tech puts it. Oh, I've done so much. Oh god, no. We've done two weeks worth of work this week. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, good I, on I, you, Keta. I haven't made enough notes about the introduction yet, because I made so many notes about Earth Day. Apologies for the lack of stream last week. I was stuck on a farm. Um, <laughs> helping Earth Chan? Yeah. Like, this is entirely you know, fair. Just just as you do, Just I was stuck on a farm. Um, it was oh, yeah. fun. Give some context, please. What? Context? Sorry, to clarify, dirty, I have drank live on a farm, and I was visiting them. But we were meant to return but home what? a bit earlier, but we just didn't because I don't know why. But I was like playing with chickens and we flew some drones and I bought some new marbles at a glass shop. So everything's happening. I see. Um, <sighs> that's what I did last week. This week, it's been too hot to do absolutely anything. But I did do my voice lines, sort of. 
Oh shit, that reminds me. I have to do like translation for Salt Celia Local Group and I haven't done it. It's it's been due for like two weeks. You're probably gonna fire me. Naughty. Fire him. <laughs> fire him. Banish him send him to the badlands. Unsolicited oh, promo. Oh. <laughs> okay, I, I think the SLG league is listening to our podcast, so I don't think he's it's a double agent. Yeah, but um, yeah, yeah. SLG, you're cool. Please don't sue me. Um, <laughs> Cada, what have you done this week? Oh, uh, a lot of art related stuff. I mean, the biggest thing I've done is um, the Com Chan two live two D model that I spent Ooh. a week working on, <laughs> yeah. and I. Also- I also did the freaking Mercury final design, which I'm dead. I don't want to. I don't want to look at him again. <laughs> especially, especially about, especially from the amount of stuff I got from Flower about it, and it's like. I'm sorry. We did have. I a maybe I'm, Okay, I didn't write I'm, you the almighty paragraph of doom. Come on. I may be a masochist, but this is a little too much. It's one too expensive for a meme. I mean, and you and now. you paid for that. <laughs> oh yeah, I spent fifty dollars on this shitty model. Is it worth it? It's worth. Yes, yes, it was very <laughs> much worth it. I just like put a meme in the meme jar. Actually, I can. Uh, are you happy, Calm? Are you happy now? Oh, I think it's great. It's a lot of fun to use. I'm making a D-pad one right now. Oh no! <laughs> oh boy! That's very fun. I have a you one did. month subscription. I'm not going to waste it. Poor Zeus. <laughs> anyway, have you done anything cool this week? He's dead. Um, I've I've done a lot this week. Ooh. I've I hid in a basement. Not really. I hid in a gun shelter, bomb shelter. I can't speak. Dude, Hung out there, put a spider in my mouth. Right? Put it on Chong, the stream. probably several times. I you uh, beat up some kids in my bomb shelter and Wait, stole some what? cookies. <laughs> Moving on, Morgan, how are you? You beat up some kids. James Proud. Continue yeah. beating up kids. kids. Kids are horrible. Yes. Please, no. <laughs> yeah, but restraining you order, you know? Don't. No. I will <laughs> eat we'll cat bill. Oh, no. no. Morgan, have you done anything this week? How much driving have no. you done? Uh, not enough. Just all of it. Because I have a lot of uh exam this week, and currently I'm doing my religious studies assignment. <laughs> oh. <laughs> religious studies, what? Oh, and I did yep. some interior design for the official art. Ooh. Nice. Wait, I've been looking at. I'm trying to visualize Earth Chan's balcony because I spent so much time outside and in garden centers last week. It's like there were so many nice flower pots. I didn't. I just anything. imagined just one small cactus. Creep. Oh well, yeah, cactus can is alive. By the way, official update. He nice. Just went, he just went a bit brown nice. for a bit, um, but he's fine now. So, if anybody was actually worried about cactus can, he's okay. Oh, actually, didn't didn't uh, wasn't Mousy in a car accident in in a hospital? Yeah, yeah. She uh, I don't think she, I don't think she was in a hospital, but she had a bit of lung issues that prevented her from recording the lines this week. Hold on, is that related to the car accident, or did you just also have lung issues at the same time? I think it's related to the car accident, but I'm that not 100 like sure. Pretty bad car accident. We get some mm. F's in the chat. Yeah. Pay respects. Um, pay respects. Mouse yeah, please. Or Can't whatever. Pay respects. And Hopefully, she gets better. It will all capital A. Send your love to our beautiful Mars. Is Mars? No, Thank you, Venus. 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 Fortnite. Call me Fortnite. I'm totally new. <laughs> um, yes. No Those are your up, friends, too. Earth Chan. God. <laughs> I mean, they're both annoying. Anyway. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Never guessed Earth Chan would be such a bitch. Damn. <laughs> yeah, forgot, forgot to mention, I have started work on a magical girl version of the team post. Oh, yeah, you've been working oh, on the magical girls. Oh, right, no, yeah. Oh, I'll, oh, I'll, I'll go in the corner then. Oh. I've always had magical 
girl, so this is... You're even <laughs> more magical, girl. you demigod girl. Yeah. I've just got in one? this planning stage of who's gonna go where. Awesome. <laughs> I'm gonna cool go in the car. <clears throat> well, I've done... Yeah, I've done work this week. Uh, no, you haven't. <laughs> yes, I have. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just remembering because I'm tired. You, you guys have to remember it's 5 o'clock in the morning where I am. Uh, uh, why you gotta be at every meeting or podcast, man? You don't have to. Well, no, it's fun. I like it. <laughs> but um, he likes the suffering. I like pain, but not <laughs> in a masochist kind of way. Oh, Damn. But, um, but I would have found yeah. another thing. I've started putting together the animatic for things using the storyboard and the voice lines we have so far, and the bit of music we have. So I'll be continuing that this week. And I've also just been putting things together on the production side of things with spreadsheets and all sorts of other boring bits that are necessary for us to work efficiently. Paint 3D. So paint are fun. I have my yeah, own. Yeah, we've been working on Paint 3D. It keeps us organized. Yes. And it means I can watch you all more efficiently. Oh, no. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. <laughs> and 50, 51 came back this week after being doing exams and things. And he's, um, yeah, he's, he's no evolved. Longer a lowly he's, kind. He's, he's evolved out of he's stuff. Evolved. And he was like changing his way of speaking. And I was looking through my logs to all the things he'd done in the past. And I was using them as evidence that he was just acting. And he kept. <laughs> it was like you could tell like, how long it took him to reply that he was really surprised that I like remembered but turns out it's just because i have so much stuff in my logs toothpick and toenail kick it's just because you're a stalker i'm not a stalker i'm a good yeah, moderator. admin yeah you stalker yeah, yeah, you, yeah. you weirdo admin equals stalker yep mm. you're a stalker wow. you're, a hor you're a horrible moderator you're not even a moderator you're an admin <laughs> <laughs> bad well, mod she game. still no she still has the mod hole. Yeah, Ozzy uh, doesn't. Ozzy I'm, doesn't. I'm like OP. It's, I it's have so weird. And admin. Ozzy's just admin. I'm like. There is no convention about, you know, uh, admins. One of them has the Mordro, one of them doesn't. Is yeah. well, no. It's it, that's more of if you want to be added when somebody adds mods. That's hmm. the reason I had the mod command and I don't anymore. Hmm. hmm. Or not command hmm. wall. Being a vol mm. since Grand Me mm. coming back. Um, no, it'll, it'll never come back. back. It's not coming back. That's for sure. Why not? We can we can because... maybe have like um a nod to it in the credits. If we can't get but Grand Meme, we'll get me. Meme Wizard. <laughs> you mean Meme Magician? Remember the name of the role, fucking plebeian. No. Hey, language. Right, put a meme in the meme jar. Oh, shit, I have to put a hey. meme in the meme jar. Hold on. <laughs> 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 I'm tired, okay? Sorry. You, Hold on. You I'm going to get a meme. Have three I'm gonna... in the meme jar. So you have Here to... you go. You have to make I'm gonna three have memes. Three memes. Okay, here's the first one. No, don't. I have, I have no, to put crap. It... No, 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 no. I'll just send them later. No, 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 no. Put them later. Put them later. Anyway, oh, there we go. moving on, because we've talked about this week for quite a while. Um. Which is good in a way because we didn't have an update video. Um, actually, I should probably talk about that. We didn't have an update video because silly old <laughs> Rook stabbed a nail or something into his finger, or he trapped it. He in dropped a, bar, a steel bar on his finger. Yeah. I don't even know. You've probably seen the pictures. They were disgusting. Mm -hmm. I have the pictures. Um, you want me to I see? I haven't seen the pictures see actually. We're not putting. Snapchat. We're not putting the pictures on stream. <laughs> Why not? Oh. Oi, mm -hmm. Rook, Rook anyway. in chat, I know you can hear me, PM me the pictures. Un no. Unfortunately, there was no update nah. video because of that, and so my great, our great plan was, um, what, what's it called? Delayed once again, but... Foiled? Foiled, yeah. Filled again. It wasn't for your meddling kids. <laughs> yeah, um, <laughs> 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 the meddling kids and their lollycon. This this weekend, actually yesterday, but um, anyway, it was St George's Day, 
So that's the England's national saint day. So we we march around the town and um, I went to a football soccer a football match yesterday and we did like a crowd display with like the English flag. We're all football? patriotic and um so it's St George's Day. So that makes hopefully if it comes out soon, it makes it even better. So don't like, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. No. Um, glue. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Not again! Well, Not again! The meme. <laughs> uh, meme jar. Put it in a meme jar. Come on, guys. That is not. That is an anti. That requires several other memes. That is a swear word in a picture. <laughs> you have to pay five pounds. Now, memes. also, did did now, you know, just call now. just call okay, football right. soccer? I clarified. I said football soccer. Football. Anyway. Um, yeah. It's Earth Day. Kata, please don't put us off schedule because it's Earth Day. And <laughs> I want to talk about Earth Day and make sure everyone recycles. Okay? <laughs> okay. Uh, recycle bomb shelters. <laughs> I mean, recycle children in bomb shelters beaten up by Oo. Oh, no. Earth Day uh, is a. He deserved it. Bomb <laughs> I'll do it again. Poor, poor flower. Earth Day is an uh. annual celebration <laughs> on the 22nd of April every year and it's just like, it's it's almost a celebration of what we've done so far to help the Earth but it's also a push forward, a promotion of making sure that we do better because we're still not doing enough. So that's what Earth Day is. Step, it's not step just, up your game, boys. It's not just run by one organisation, although the Earth Day Network usually runs it and coordinates events but lots and lots of different charities and organisations all over the world um, have Earth Day events and promote things through Earth Day. So it's definitely a good day to get involved and spread the word as well, because one of the most, like, it's important to take action, but it's important to spread the word as well, because just one person taking action is a little bit, but if you can get three people taking action, then that's more, even if you can't do much yourself. So Damn, that's deep. Eat, do something and start a conversation. That's like, like the what Earth Day is about. It's a it's a okay. The first problem is starting a conversation. So after this, you've now, lost me. You can go to one of your <laughs> friends and say, "Hey, did you know it's Earth Day today?" And get them researching, get them thinking, and encourage them to recycle. Basically, and if they don't, talk, you can beat them in a box. Talking to shelter. one of my friends. How do you do that? <laughs> How do you do that? Yeah, you don't know how to Grandma, ring up your grandparents and say, have you recycled anything today? She did. This is really weird from my perspective because where I'm from, like, recycling is just the way you do things. Yeah, it's, just like, it, yeah. In, in Britain, it's become pretty much, in most communities, it's standard. But it's like even just recycling isn't enough. Like composting isn't very big here because not many people would use the compost. And we don't have very many solar panels or anything like that, so that's not. And but our yeah, plastic waste is pretty bad. But that brings me on to the theme of this year's Earth Day. Uh, the Earth Day Network tries to set a theme or launch a new campaign every year on Earth Day to give each event kind of a focus, something to think about. Um, in the, in is, the past, oh, no. it's been water usage, it's been planting trees, things like that. This year, mm. the theme is end plastic pollution. So, ah. um, basic, it's based on some new data that came out 2015 and 2016 about the fact that despite efforts to recycle and reduce our plastic in, is like exponentially increasing despite everyone's attempts at trying to stop it. So about 6,300 6, million metric tons of plastic are produced every year. So that's not including stuff that's recycled, that's produced. And 79% of that ends up landfilled. So in other, yeah. we only in other recycle words... 21% of our plastics at the moment. And that's of recyclable plastics because some plastics aren't recyclable, which is another issue. We should be trying to only make recycled plastics but that's not something really that the everyday person can do but you can try and recycle plastics because if 79 percent of plastics that can be recycled are still going in bins that's on us 
Yeah. <laughs> Solar Sailor does. actually brings up a good point as well. A lot of that plastic ends up in the ocean and collects in various places around the world. I was, I was, I was going to come. <laughs> but yeah, I've got like, so um, of that stuff that goes into landfill, there's still many landfill sites around the world that are too close to rivers and such. And not only that, but there are still too many bins and things that overflow into rivers and people chuck things into rivers anyway. And there are um, some, they, if, if it ends up in oceans and things, either it's eaten by marine animals or they get trapped in it and they die, or even like hedgehogs and things like foxes get trapped, but everyone... I'm pretty no, sure not Mercury. That as kids. If you leave a like can ring can out, then a fox will get trapped in it and die. I saw one when I was younger. Probably one of the reasons why I am so passionate about recycling because um yeah, that was not a fun thing to find in a school playground. But um marine animals no. larger marine animals, whales, dolphins, things like that, will eat them and choke or die or get trapped. Um and then smaller animals talking about microplastics now so smaller bits of plastic which are referred to as microplastics can be eaten by smaller fish even like things the, basically the size of plankton and they get them broken down broken down into toxins that not only kill the fish but poison the water around them which kills other fish and so on and so forth because a lot of the plastics that we produce are poisonous to the environment around us so there's two issues from basically the same problem which is plastics going into the ocean um microplastics is another thing that we can't do much about in the fact that it's the manufacturer's fault but part um plastics with very small particles that are going to end up we like must kill away. them they were banned in 2015 but they're still being produced in so many countries around the world so that's like a yeah. What this means for you, viewer, is that Earth Child Funko Pops are not happening, sadly. <clears throat> you know, oh, that, sorry. No, nothing. It was a bad show. That didn't fit the mood. Sorry. Okay. okay. So the <laughs> before I bore you all to death, just rambling on about <laughs> plastic pollution. Um, I'm sure you've all heard of reduce, reuse, recycle. Um, which is the oh, yeah. main, That's good. <laughs> main, Explain it to main me. campaign. Um, this year with N Plastic Pollution, they've added two more steps, which are more about not what you can do um, just as an individual, but extra action you can take that will change the actions of other people. Because again, as I said at the beginning, it's not like you taking your small action is not part of the problem. You it's not like the only solution you can exponentially increase your impact if you make other people join in too and if you make other people make other people make other people then like we'll all be helping out so it's just as important to encourage other people to change their ways as as well as to change yours so the five r's that they have now are reduce so that's the same trying to buy things with less plastic when you're buying meat in the store like have a look how many times is it plastic wrapped can i buy one with less plastic can i go to a butcher's that isn't using plastic um and again that's unfortunately it depends on your family budget and things but it's steps that you can at least try to take like maybe buying um buying vegetables that aren't already packaged and take a paper bag to put them in instead things like that um the next one is a new one that they've added in which is refuse so when you go to restaurants ask not to have the plastic straw or say like i don't need the straw or when you go to a takeaway say don't give me a carry bag i've bought one and things like that um instead of letting people give you the plastic refuse it and maybe even just them seeing you passionate about it will make them think as well as you slightly reducing your plastic footprint as well and then reuse so that's the same if you if you have to buy something in a plastic bottle reuse that plastic bottle until the end of this day i mean i had a plastic coca-cola bottle as my water bottle for school for about three four years and because they've got the names on them it was called nikita and like nikita was just my water bottle for ages until the lid finally broke a couple of years ago and that was a sad day but they last forever they make them to last so there's no no reason not to reuse them 
And then at the end, if you can't reuse them anymore, then you can recycle them, obviously, most important part, most well-known part. And then the last one is remove. So this is slightly different to all the others because it's like an after step because there's go- there's always going to be people that litter. There's always going to be, pe- be people that don't recycle. But if you take part in litter picks, if you, if you see something on the side of the road, pick it up. Like, it's just simple things like that. It doesn't take long and if you it. see a small piece of plastic to pick it up, put it in your pocket and shove it in the recycling bin when you get home. Just simple things like that. And it becomes a habit. Like, if you think about doing it consciously a few times, you'll start seeing more plastic and start picking it up. And the more you remove, and then the more you remove, the more smaller difference you make and you might save an animal's life. But not only that, if you're doing it on the streets, other people will see. And it can, even if they don't talk to you about it, they'll see and they'll think, ah, that person really cares about the environment. And it might make them think, or you could even strike up a conversation with them because they'll be like, what are you doing? And like, oh, I'm removing the plastic because I care about the environment and you should too, kind of thing. So it's about your own actions and also spreading the word. So this Earth Day, if you don't do anything else, I encourage you all to start the conversation. Oh, well said. This has been a awfully sombre podcast compared to the usual. Well, for now. I compl- I'm not complaining. I hope. But, you're yeah, watching. just even if you're, even if you're not comfortable or you don't want to go up and talk to people about it or convince them that saving the earth is a worthy goal, even if you just go out and like recycle and are seen recycling, that itself has an impact on the way people think about it. <laughs> just okay. psychologically. Or um, things like there's some recycling banks sometimes at supermarkets and things i'm not sure how it works around the world but usually supermarkets over here have big recycling banks um for people for plastics that can't be recycled at home so we have certain recycling boxes but they only take certain plastics so the supermarkets usually take in other plastics and they're almost always overflowing and a couple of times there's two supermarkets quite close by me and they both have their own recycling banks and, but one supermarket is used by more people because it's cheaper. And um, a couple of times I've seen people driving up to the recycling banks, not with the intention of putting things in, but taking the stuff that people have dumped outside that's overflowing around the recycling bins, that's effectively just littering because it's left outside a place in where like the, the wildlife can get to it. Putting that rubbish and that all that recycling that's going to cause harm to the environment because it's going to blow away even if people are trying their best to recycle and driving across the road to the other supermarket and putting it in the bins there like something simple like that if, even if you're not creating your own rubbish just making sure things like that but yeah earth day earth is day. a celebration so um, um. <laughs> hopefully we can make a bit of a better buy a birthday cake and eat it Go for it. Yeah. Get a whole Woolworths cake and eat it. If you don't finish it, just keep eating it. Don't waste food. <laughs> I, think, I think it's important to remember as well is that we're doing more, that we have done more. Like, as a society, we are beginning to change. People are beginning to recycle. People are thinking about it more. And although it's important not to forget and not to be complacent that we're doing enough because we're really, really not, that we can be proud of ourselves that we've made the change so far that the the amount the difference that we're making is exponential and so if we keep that keep it on that curve we'll get somewhere so yeah that was my little psa i hope i didn't bore anyone's stuff um (laughs) so (laughs) to continue with the earth day theme i have a quiz which is uh, oh no Oh, i didn't study for this no (laughs) <laughs> it's not all plastic related it's not all environment related <laughs> just a general quiz about the earth this wonderful planet that we live on um oh no i'm too stupid for this unfortunately there's no oh, questions no. about me i don't go outside like this is a pure geography quiz so join oh, in the chat. Me. Join oh in is this geography 
I just oh, finished yeah. writing a 10 page essay in geography. Please spare me. Well, I expect you to get the answers right. And it is multiple choice. Um, there is four answers for each question. So. Oh, well, that should be easy. Then I'll just copy your up. So. I'm going to let um, the team on here be a team. Chat, you can help as well. If you think you know what the answer is, put um, A, B, C, D in the chat. Try not to spam it too much and stuff. Not that I think you will. Um, and then once the team on here has come to their answer, I'll reveal what the actual answer is. All right? Oof. And there's only eight right. questions, so it shouldn't be too difficult. It's a goal. Okay. Question Chance number one. Correct. What percentage of the earth is arable? So what percentage of the earth is land that's suitable for crops to be built on? Percentage of earth or percentage of land? Percentage of land? I okay. wrote these questions in very bad English. <laughs> I think it's percentage of the earth. Oh, okay. Because those are two different numbers. Yes, yes, they are two very different numbers. <laughs> yeah, but looking at the answer, it's percentage of earth as a whole. Okay. Is arable. So what percentage of the earth right. can be planted? And um, what are, what are our... Yeah. Um, <laughs> Answer A is 10%, B, 20%, C, 30%, and D, 40%. D. D. Okay. Come again. A. A, 10%, B, 20%, C, 30%, and D, 40%. I'm going to copy Chrome to answer and go A. I think it's I'm D. going with D. Hold on, let's just write it in chart. There you go. It's not nearly as much as you think it is. I'm just going to go with D anyway. Okay, so what's, yeah, what's, what's, your, what's your answer as a team? <laughs> as a team, I took them on a podcast there. <laughs> so there's two A's, two D's, and a C. So that's a C. A da, a da. The average is uh, C. We have an E here. The median is C. The medium is C. Should we oh, just see who got it right and who didn't? Yeah, who got it so. right. All right. Yeah. The answer is B, so you're all wrong. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> That's the best of word it right. is. So, those of you that said D, 70% of the earth is water, so it couldn't physically be fought. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. 70% of the earth is surface. Not the earth, the earth surface. Yeah, but you can't plant crops on the ground, can you? Yeah, no, I'm just saying. Just, <laughs> just start planting seeds in the middle of the ocean. It'll work out fine. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's so, yeah. seaweed. So 20% okay. of the earth is arable land. So that, I'm so, sorry, I'm so just tired of listening to flowers. The ice caps and yeah. the ocean and deserts and things. So that's actually a majority of the land. So it's not too bad. Okay. How mm. wide in miles? Is a degree of latitude. So. Oh, God damn it. Oh, yeah, that's just again. So fit for this. A, B, C, D. A is 29. A B degree is of latitude. C is 69. And D is. <laughs> I'm going with that one. C. 69. <laughs> Can we just go with C? This is what we just what, what was D again? D is 89. So oh, well, that's so much of a chunk there. Know what longitude and latitude are. Yeah, latitude are the vertical <laughs> ones, correct? <laughs> yeah, correct. Latitude, latitude is um, parallel with the equator. Longitude is horizontal. Vertical, I mean. And you're asking for latitude? Latitude. Oh, Wait, okay. this... Does this not depend on where you are on the Earth? No, it does not. A degree of latitude is basically latitude is three hundred and sixty degrees. Going yes, away. yes, yes. Uh, but but what I mean is one degree of difference at the North Pole is like two feet. At the but in oh at the equator. At the equator. Okay. Going around like a right. degree. What the latitude is defined as a certain. No, yeah. I just I just needed to know like where. Yeah. No. At the, the, the equator. Mass. All right. Cool. All right. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm like. No, no, that's good. So I'm going to go with 69. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. C. Yep. I don't think there's even a choice in there. It's actually correct. <laughs> C. 
it's, it's, <laughs> it's, 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 yeah. yeah, I knew it. So. Did no you put it in for that? Be correct. Did you yeah. put yeah. it in for that reason? Yes, because it was right all along. That's why we did it because we're smart. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not because we're twelve. No, it's not because of the sexual innuendos. It's because we're <laughs> smart. Because we're well, any joke, it goes funnier. It becomes funnier the more you explain it. Obviously. Question three. Which of these cities is sinking into the sea? Australia. A. A Luanda, Angola. B. Los Angeles, California. What? C. Venice, Italy. And D. Shanghai, China. C. Venice. C. Venice. Let's go with Venice. C. I'm Venice gonna go with. Yeah. Venice is slowly sinking into the sea. Okay. Hey, yeah. Neptune, yeah. I agree. Be... My stupid head shouldn't be here. This one should be slightly easier, hopefully. Um, the the what is the circumference of the Earth at the equator, roughly in oh, kilometers? No. A ten kilometers. Kilometers. This is a biased anti-American question. I'm gonna have to leave this stream. <laughs> Everything is biased against America. Uh, I'll, I'll, do all the, I'll do all the conversions. Okay, so just A on my is 10, Okay, miles, miles. Uh, B is 30,000 kilometers, C is 40,000 kilometers, and D is 50,000 kilometers. D. Hold right, on, can we get which was the first one? 10,000, 30,000, 40,000, and 50,000. I'm just going to make a guess and say B. I pick D. Or D pad. Let me convert this. Which one? one? Which, hold on. Uh, can, again, 10, 30. C was what? C is 40,000. C then. I'm going to go with C, I think. Yeah. And pick D. Everyone locked in their answers? Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. 40. Yes, the answer is C, 40,000 kilometers, roughly. Hey. Oh. Hey. I'm hey. just. Stupid. Okay, this this is an interesting one. How long does it take a plastic bottle to bob across the Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> what? How do you Three find seconds. this information? Let's follow it around. No, it's just it's just the guess. How long do you think it would take a plastic bottle across the Atlantic Ocean? So it's how how quickly does plastic actually end up in the middle of the ocean? So what A can it swim? A is one year, B is five years. C is ten years and D is twenty years. This is a time. No, no, it, a, it depends on the monsoon season. If we throw it on January, it will not arrive sooner. And if you throw it on November, it will arrive sooner. Does it make sense? A. Across the island. B. I'm going with. I'm going with A. Depends where do you throw it. Are well, you not going to throw it? <laughs> it has. It has a starting velocity of zero. A. Is everyone going with A? Yeah, sure. <laughs> You're not really fine. No, I'm saying, I'm saying B. I'm saying B. <laughs> You're going for B? Yeah, five you've years? lost me. I'm going for B. You lost me at quiz. All right. Well, the answer is actually A, one year. Oh, so A. A. I watched a documentary once about it. Ah, interesting. Ah. It, plastic travels a lot faster than you'd expect across the ocean. So that's how it ends up in so much trouble. Okay, number six. Which word of these describes the bend in a river? So anyone who's done geography will hopefully know the answer to this. Uh, okay. I feel like I know this, but I actually don't. A is a meander, B is a maraud, C is a manger, and D is a mendicate. I should know this. Uh, a is a meander, one? right? Meander, maraud, meander. That sounds like a meander, so I'm going to go with that one. <laughs> I'm going to go with yeah, meander. I'm going to make it. Say C. Come is always meander. the answer. <laughs> meander. <laughs> meander. <laughs> meander. Yay. Hey. I learned that. Uh, Come is always correct. <laughs> Those 10 pages of geography we, we used uh, to do uh -huh. is one specific question. <laughs> My geography is about we all all we talk about is about soybeans and soy sauce. What is this? <laughs> Question number seven. 
What is the world's longest class. river? Is it A, hey. the Mississippi, B, the Ganges, C, the Nile, or D, the Amazon? The Nile. The Nile. Nile. That's the Nile. That's correct. D Nile. D Pad. D Nile is. <laughs> no, it's, it's actually C Nile. Nile. But yeah. <laughs> I remember that one because uh, at my old school, the, we had a substitute teacher who kind of sucked, and they said the only way we could leave and go home was if we got that question right. And I was the only person who got it because I watched Scooby Doo and I flipped everyone off as I left and then got detention. <laughs> <laughs> and everybody passed. stood up and clapped. Yeah, so in the end, I never got to go home. What happened? Uh, so, yeah. <laughs> uh, then you got stuck at school cover. and never left and spent your time beating up children. Yeah, they just stayed there forever. Day 325. They still have family in the basement. <laughs> <laughs> I've captured five of the third play. Yeah, question good time. Last what question. Ooh, last one. Last one. Don't, don't, don't. What is the name of the imaginary the line dollar question. at longitude zero? I think I know this. Uh, what is it? Wait for the answers. So A be... is the Tropic of Cancer, B is the Equator, C is the Prime Meridian, and D is the Tropic of Capricorn. Capricorn. A. Capricorn sounds like Catacorn. Going sounds with like A. That one. B. For the sake of it. Hold on. <laughs> The Tropic of Cancer, the Equator, the Prime Meridian, or the Tropic of Capricorn? I'm going to go with C. Prime Meridian. A. <clears throat> Sounds like cat. Everyone not A for the thing? sake of it. The answer is oh. the Prime Meridian. Yay! Yay. That is zero degrees longitude. And that is in yeah. Greenwich, which is why Greenwich is called Greenwich Mean Time. Because that's the line, the date line. Because you Brits just decided to place zero there. Yes. Basically, yeah. I actually, <laughs> there's, a, there's a really nice observatory at Greenwich. Um, and that's why the zero is there. Because when they were mapping the stars, they were like, okay, we need to set degrees out so that we actually know where we are in the world. For both the navigation of like the British Empire and also for the stars. And so the royal astronomer put his was given an observatory up on the top of Greenwich Hill and he could set his own line of where his telescope would be and that would be zero. And interestingly enough, over the first about 70, 80 years, the prime meridian moved about eight metres because the first royal astronomer built his little hut with his little telescope and did it and then he retires or dies and the next guy comes along. But technology's improved, so... He has a slightly bigger telescope and needs a slightly bigger shed. So instead of demolishing the first shed, he builds a second shed slightly to the left of the first shed, moves the line by a couple of metres and starts mapping the stars all over again. And this happens a few times. And so over the course of the first 70 years, the, the prime meridian moves about 10 metres across the top of Greenwich Hill, which is quite an interesting <laughs> <story>. <laughs> Well, you know, I got to leave. Well, I had the satisfaction of thinking I was going to leave. So either the teacher was wrong or whatever. Hmm? Let's skip no, the Nile, the Nile is longer. Yeah. yeah, it is. End of the day, I felt pretty great until I got detention. <laughs> yeah. Aww. Aww. Still, I was proud of myself. <laughs> yeah, I'm You're smart. Shabby. I felt very smart. And then I fell out of my chair. Oof. The end. <laughs> Touching story. Wow. That's of a young, crazy. severely autistic child. I don't know Yay. if any of you are actually counting your scores, but no. No, got no. one point. Count back. We'll count back, like <laughs> at when it's uploaded. Oh, Figure it out. Sure. No, don't give me more. Whoever work wins to do. gets to leave first. No. <laughs> Oh, Catherine listens to them like a hundred times anyway, so we can give him the job of counting back. And I guess hey. whoever loses has to put a uh, he has to put a meme in the meme jar. <laughs> what? Hey, what? What's going on? Whoever gets the least points when someone counts back on the video has to put a meme in the meme jar. Oh, that's me lost. <laughs> well, 
Oh, I got the least points with a total of one point. Right. Ford got two, Com got two, Morgan got two. Oh, what do you two. mean two? I got more than that. Oh, fuck you, I wasn't... Hey, I lost in the I lost anyway, so what's the problem? Oh, uh, let's move on to our next segment. We've finished all the little Earth Day activities I had done, but it's still Earth Day, so remember, just be happy because we have a beautiful planet. Okay. Um, yeah. I am now going to move us to room 101 so for anyone watching that doesn't know i hope everyone in the class knows because i did tell you yesterday room 101 is inspired by orwell's novel 1984 and it is a theoretical room in which once something is placed it ceases to exist it can never come out again so it's basically forever banishment or in some ways censorship but it's just so the the aim of this is each one of us will propose an item, a concept, a person, something to go into. So it's just gay over. baby jail. Yes, this is gay baby jail. The official hey. gay baby jail. It's no longer room one on one. Replace it with gay, gay baby jail. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yes, it's okay. now gay so baby jail. Each one of us pro right propose something to go into gay baby jail. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Um, they have to convince okay. we have to convince the rest of us and the chat as well, the chat can join in and that it should be submitted to room to gay baby jail and if we, and then we will all vote and if it is, if it is voted into gay baby jail, then it goes in baby, gay baby jail and is never seen again and if it isn't voted in, then it gets to stay in the world and survive Hmm. <laughs> All right. Yeah. So, does anybody want to start particularly? Who's the most prepared? Um, oh, oh, you said you I don't hate things. Oh. Who's going to play first? <laughs> Volunteers. <Everyone's> Anybody? <laughs> I always start. I don't want to start this time. Come, you can start. We'll go the other way. No. <laughs> oh, no, I'm sick of going to Get into the jail, come. Yeah. Send myself to jail. Can I convince you of that? <laughs> okay, come, you, you start. I'm not sorry. Who wants? <laughs> Carter didn't realise Oa was here the whole time. Oh, no. <laughs> on my screen, she's not even in the call. Yeah, you're not in my call either, but I still hear you. <laughs> Ow! Oh, well, let's go, Field. I can hear her through Ford's freaking echo, but that's about it. <laughs> I'm sorry, hold on. Do I actually have an echo? Yes. Oh, shit. I'm sorry, hold on. I'm going to fix that then. Yeah, but she's just not showing up. She's like doesn't exist. I can't hear her, I can't see her. Yeah, Discord's a little bit. It's but anyway, let's not get off topic. Let's... Come on. No, buy me more time. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, get back here. You I gotta start. I last night, though, to be fair. You I prepared myself last count. night and then lost the piece of paper where I wrote what I was... I, I have four dot points. Uh... Anyone? Okay, let's just start with Kata as you have your four dot points. Kata. Please, thank you. <laughs> well, this is gay. Uh, <laughs> name I... the main jar. No. Just, just go. What is your proposal Freaky. to put into gay baby My jar? proposal is, according to my notepad, overly charismatic people. Now, oh, don't get me wrong, I'm not talking about, like, normal charisma. I'm talking about the overabundance amount of charisma in someone. Ah, I get no, that. No, 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 I think from what, what I've seen from personal experience, these overly charismatic individuals tries to be everyone's friends, and I absolutely hate it. Since Aww. someone, as someone who's fairly cynical outlook on life, when I'm exposed to someone who tries to be my friend and won't leave me alone, I just do not want to have any interaction with them whatsoever. 
And these type of people, they try way too hard to gain other people's attention. Like, there's, for example, there's one guy in my class who would just scream at random times just to get someone's attention. And it, he, like, recites random I Japanese. Don't think that's charisma. No, 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 no. no. That's, that's Let me charisma. fucking finish, faggot. <laughs> Hey. That, is, that is too sweet. Hey. Hey. This guy, yeah, nah, this guy he, he's what I would say is a friend of everybody, but an enemy to me because everybody is like, everybody somehow likes this guy, but I don't see it because. Uh, just, I just want to just not be around these type of people who try to get everybody's attention and be his friends with everybody by talking to them overly too much. You know, I understand that. Good job. Yeah, Dad. I understand. Yeah, that. yeah I, 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 Pretend I'm, I'm sure patting this. your grouchy head. I have to agree on that. Your grouchy okay. bald head, I am patting it. Right. I'd send those people into cave baby jail. Does, I... does anybody <laughs> object to sending overly charismatic people into gay baby jail? Uh... <laughs> Don't you dare oh, probably overly charismatic people. That I don't think there are any on the server. So I have one on the server. We can't really say because they're going to watch this podcast and be like, "Oi, oi!" Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so that's gonna some issues. What happened? Why is everybody laughing? <laughs> because it's always Australian right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Anybody object? The into the world, we should kill them. No. Is there what? an objection? They're officially overly charismatic people. Do no longer exist. No longer exist. I'm gonna change it. Send them to what you. Hey, that's what you get, Gaby Jordan. Jail. Fuck you, Jordan. <laughs> Fuck you. Hey, this is a call cool out right now. Okay. Ninja. Ninja. Sorry, Jordan's the name of the guy I referenced. Okay, you now have five memes for the ninja. You are not doing very well. Oh, uh, I got you. Hold on, let me just post some memes. <laughs> um, right, let's. All right, I, I've thought of, I've thought of mine. <laughs> right, come, you go then. Okay. Work. What? Just, but then, how are you? Object. <laughs> okay, okay. How are you? Work? I object. Fine work. I object to that. I. I object. I try and object. Persuade us. I, get fucked, I don't want to do work. <laughs> That's a valid argument, but it's, 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 I, don't it's, I don't think it's quite enough to persuade it. <laughs> I <laughs> propose to send calm to gay baby Joe. Yes, I no, agree. I agree. <laughs> no, I'm not doing work. The entire At least I don't have to do work in jail. <laughs> no, it's a jail You're going to get to work with you. You, have you do do work labor. in jail, actually. Like, Oh, yeah. never mind. Oh, that's a Tim Catter. We can't throw him. I'll I'll do my work. I change my send to gay baby jail to production deadline. If Leaky can pull out, so can you. <laughs> no. <laughs> that's what she said. Uh, no. Deadlines. I think that's, I don't like deadlines either. Production no. deadline, but they sometimes are needed because yeah. you can look like a game like. Mountain Blade Bannerlord, which has been in development for nine fucking years because they don't have a bloody release child. thing. Yeah, they don't have the gay baby child in the game yet. And they keep adding features to it, and it's like, it's probably never going to come out at this point. You just swore twice, by the way, so you're now on five as well. Oh, <laughs> swore? Hold on, here's a meme. And here's another one. Hold on. I'm trying to collect the memes. You don't collect. <laughs> Hold on, does this count? Does this count as a meme? <laughs> no one can, else can see these memes, so everyone's going to think we're oh, just no. nuts. Get yes. that out. <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Damn it! For oh, you guys, just going to save that for future reference. That's that's an in joke. <laughs> right, let's let's vote on um production deadlines. I don't think they should. I object. We need them. I object. I object as well. Don't we try to dodge the problem. Deadlines. Come. Tom, do you have I'm any watching final you. Words? Because you will go in, gay baby Joe. I'm still not making one. Um, yeah. Well, 
guess uh, well, we're gonna be stuck designing Neptune, Neptune for eternity. Sorry, hey. everyone. <laughs> um, don't make me change the design for Calm Chan to the lingerie. <laughs> oh, you put me in there. Uh, right? <laughs> you're in Dave Baby Jail now. For no. Goodbye, Calm. Fortnite. Oof, what wait, is your um, proposal to gay baby my jail? proposal for gay baby jail. Uh, I have no idea. I know there's tons of things that I don't like, but none... I gave you enough time like, to think about it. I know, I know, but I then I just spent my time not sleeping, and then I slept, and then I woke up, and then this thing happened. Can somebody guys go before me? Like oh, oh. Morgan. Oh. Yeah, okay. Wait, are we gonna go first? No, no, I have no ideas. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, See, it's not just still here. <laughs> uh, I don't hate anything. Okay, <laughs> on the top of my head, uh, people that should be sent to gay baby jail is... People who don't use their turn signal. <laughs> oh, I agree. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> I say yes, like straight yes, up. Yes, please. Absolutely. Mm-hmm. Because I almost get in a car accident this week. Mousy did get in a car accident because of that. Yeah. Uh, hey, uh, uh, one, of, one of my friends lost her nose because someone wasn't turning and she tried to cross the road. Ow. Ooh. Ooh. Send her it's our regards. Like, because she only got hit by the wind mirror and it hit her like right in the nose because she was like younger so she was short so it just like knocked the bone out of her nose that's so funny to her <laughs> why do people need to say that it's gotta this be heard. it's just, like the car slapped her in the face <laughs> Why am I the sadist in this group? Why is no one looking at Flower and being like, oh, she's not innocent? And then like... She did She did spend 30 minutes almost on the verge of tears complaining about plastics and how she saw a dead animal in a plastic when she yeah, was Yeah, but now tired. she's laughing about her friend whose legs got chopped off. <laughs> yeah, but I'm just saying, maybe I'm not the sadist here. Or... What? I, they deserved it. <laughs> Yeah, that, that's the thing. No, <laughs> the only field stuff do not deserve to be beaten are lowlies. Otherwise, uh, uh. Okay, you you <laughs> want to know the story of the um? It's not a f- uh, podcast friendly stream. It's kind of depressing. But who who wants to know my reasoning for beating up children in a bomb shelter? I do. <laughs> I do. I, mean, I, I guess we don't really have a choice but to listen. So let's go. Let's fill up the restraining order. No, you order. do have a choice. I'm giving. I'm letting people give their consent now. <laughs> yes, I allow. Le- legal right. I mean, I consent. So let's go. Okay, so st- it's the start of the school year. We're told that there's a bomb shelter that's been uncovered during construction. I'm like, fuck yeah, and I spend every day there chilling with a bunch of spiders and sniffing cement. Okay. <laughs> Uh, that last part's irrelevant to the story, probably. I already have several problems with this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, me too. <laughs> Aren't you in Australia and this fight is big? Because it's uh, everyone's back at school, there's going to be some new kids. And we got this new kid who is a creeper. And basically, okay, here's where things stop being funny. Basically, it's been harassing all the girls. And uh, me included. And then at first it's like, oh, whatever, he's weird. He'll learn his lesson. Someone might stab him in a bomb shelter eventually. Uh, And I gave you an idea. (laughs) No, it it, went from that. Like He was invited to our group, and uh, he started uh, sexually harassing my mute friend. And then me, I ran away, but my mute friend can't run. And then I was like, hmm, I should do something. Well, Omni said I should, like, Next time they try something like that, I should, like, kill them. And I was like, good fucking idea. And then I was like, he said he wanted to talk to me privately, and because I'm not stupid, I knew where it was going. Yeah, he's the one who touched my hair, Sola. Uh, I was like, he wanted to talk to me privately, and because there was construction, there wasn't really anyone to, anywhere to talk privately. So I took him into the bomb shelter, and when he tried to attack me, I bit him and beat the shit out of him. So I, there's my reasoning for beating up children. <laughs> I uh, think, yes, he deserves it. Really deserves He's in hospital. <laughs> <laughs> right. That's a very bizarre story. 
And mm-hmm. you just admitted it here in plain public for the police to yep. find? Yeah. 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 You have evidence right now. I mean, it's self defense. No. I mean, it's, yeah. also, it's Australian police, so probably she's fine. Yeah. yeah. They know me very well. The amount of times <laughs> they've seen me, like, eating from the trash and be like, hey, stop it. I'd be like, the full of you. <laughs> yeah. You stop eating from trash. Yeah. Oh, well, stop eating from the trash. No. I'm recycling. <laughs> 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 I mean, yeah, well, sure. Just... Why not? Why not? In before the uh, flower finds a dead oo with plastic around her neck on a garden. It'll be me. Oh. I have run around oh. with plastic bags on my head. Oh. <laughs> yeah, not a good idea. Okay. Mm, so... I'm not dead yet. 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 I mean, if anyone's gonna kill me, it'll be me because I'm yet. an invincible being. You're a magical girl. <laughs> your, yes. your magical powers consist of trash. <laughs> and can't die. And yes, bomb shelters. Anyway, let's get back to <laughs> 101. So, oh, yeah, yeah, back in the topic. Right. Uwe, do you have a suggestion? Or... You know, creeper children. <laughs> oh, we send oh, people to that. Mm. Yeah. I guess they can go and gay baby jail. That's, that's fair enough. Hey, mm-hmm. yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. Creepy children. Uh, also, well, people who kill spiders. Can't hear what I was saying because she's non existent for me. How about people who don't use their tongues anymore? Um, Should we send them to gay baby jail? Yeah, I think we, we, pr- we pretty much agreed to send those people to gay baby jail. No. Yeah. Uh, people who don't use tongues anymore. Alongside so. calm. Yeah, overly charismatic yes. people, comniando, people who don't use turns, but it doesn't creep them. I am not any of those, but I was sent anyway. <laughs> They're all people. Uh... You were sent for trying to suggest that we should not do any work ever again. <laughs> I wasn't suggesting that. Oh, really? I actually do think yeah. we should do work, I just don't want to do it. This is why you're in gay baby jail. <laughs> uh, sorry. I mean, Kong is a gay and also a baby, so that's fitting. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> um, let me out of here. Fortnite, have you come up with your. I think so. Uh, so. I have a personal pet peeve against people who just go immediately just screeching whenever you mention any sort of realism feature for a game, like proposal. <laughs> yeah, a bit like that. You know, it's just like, oh, realism, it's just a video game, fuck off. Um, it's just, Meme. you know, it's a, it doesn't have to be boring just because it's realistic. Why not have to be such a dick? Yeah, art is subjective. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I send those people to gay baby jail. Yes. Yeah. 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 Sure. Yeah. Does anybody have yeah, why not? Being a dick means you, do, you don't deserve to exist. Clearly. Five or five. Send them to jail. Oh, let's send uh, show and movie critics into gay baby jail. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. No. Yes. 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 What? <laughs> the only reason you're saying no for it is probably because you are a critic. You're oh. jail. Yeah. I don't want to go to gay baby jail. There's gay Too bad, you're a critic. Don't... You're going to gay I baby don't jail. I like gay people and I don't, don't like babies. I don't worry about a night promise there. <laughs> not sure I lied. I okay. love gay people. To finish, I will submit mine. Um, hey. You're going to have to hear me out a bit on this one because it's going to sound a little bit strange to start with but and i and I, I don't even know what they're called or how you explain what they are but you know those baby toys mm-hmm. where it's, ba- it's like Which a one? it's like a book or like a piano the ones or with like the a buttons? fucking walker and they just have colored buttons on and all the, all they're good for is making a noise when the baby spams the buttons on it 
and they just like go ah 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 because it's like every time you hit a button like a, a word a lady will read out a word and go apple or something but then the baby just goes like bash bash and goes dude ah. i love those and then they like sing the song yeah okay but my the reason why i don't like them is because if you spend a lot of time sitting in children's hospital waiting rooms, even when you're like 12 and there's just babies yeah, spamming on those, or even other 12 year olds just purposely making noise on them. And not only that, but like in f- at four in the morning when you're stuck on a children's ward trying to sleep and all you can hear is apple, 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 apple. Like <laughs> they should at least come with Banana. bedroom settings because they're all, they're <laughs> so loud. The amount of sleep I have lost to those things is ridiculous. Right. So that I've yeah, seen a kid old. play with one a minion themed one and I, I wanna die. Short. Okay, yeah, that's punishable any sort by of death. banana. Any sort of child story aimed at people less than fourteen, which makes any sort of noise should just go away into gay baby child. Those things are just abhorrent. Yeah. Can I put no. it in? No. Yeah, go ahead. Rejection. Yes, go ahead. Objection. Omo uses those things to beat up said babies, so she <laughs> not weapons anymore. So I take them from babies and then basically just bad. whack them so I can regain my sanity. Well, anyway, it's five votes to one anyway, so it's, they're going in. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. I mean, they're, they're like, can... at, least, at least they could fit them with volume controls. Seriously, they are so loud. Anyway, that's everyone has now submitted something to Room One Hundred One. I mean, Gay Baby Joe, of course. Yeah. Same place. Yeah, same place. It's your house now, Carl. Yeah. Oof. We have done that segment. You come Fortnite. back next week from another random game, which I have stolen we from the radio program. Find out next week what it is. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Um, to finish up, as usual, we will be continuing the one word story. Yay! Yay! Oh, hey. Okay. Hey. So, How see. far have we gone? Two. Um, so, yeah. what is the story so far? Um, I um, either me or Komiji reads it out, or if anybody else wants to read it out. I'm doing an assignment. Send it to me. I will post it in chat for those of us that can't see the stream currently. I regret taking religious studies. Oh, sh- I just realized it's got an app for everyone in it. Essentially. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. I've not, yeah. I've not seen it since the first one. So this is... Oh, hmm. okay. I will read it. Now I got shorter. I will read it out for everyone. Once there was a girl who eats trash that's all gone into the trash. Today there was donuts at the store dumpster. And it's sleep. Raccoons <laughs> die from hobos and cannibals. Sometimes they die. Reincarnated gods strike lollicons that fight raccoons. Extremely agitated as trap lollies bark gaily at passers-by. Everyone eats Fortnite, essentially. Essentially, as cats urinate on. Meanwhile, the raccoons wage war on bush-loving Australians. Australians acquire peanut farmers to throw aggressively masses cat nyanyos at raccoons. The emus, which glorify outback heroism, cannibalise cultists in lollicons. They die, essentially. The girl who eats trash was going from the dumpster and is falling over rubbers when along came Shota Nasa holding 40 tacks. Butter is buttery. The jelly-filled <laughs> rubbers were essentially displayed on a counter, which Nasa ate essentially. This angered Uwu, which caused her to explode. Nasa found Fortnite singing Fly Me to Houston essentially as he made a big meme. They picked new text flowers. These flowers were very colourful because they are jelly intoxicated. Meanwhile, emus fight trash girl essentially. She was dying from chlamydia. Nearby, emus were looting cat comniando, cat girl essentially, as the lollicons pillaged tiny little unicorns beautifully to at everyone essentially. 
No, that's I skipped a line. Um, Excuse me, two lines. <laughs> um, oh. As the lolicons pillage tiny little unicorns, essentially, Trask Monica excitedly assaults emus who essentially play Fortnite. Meanwhile, Comnando sung beautifully to at everyone, essentially. Kata died, essentially, from excessive exposure to lolly shota yaoi. Nyaon. <laughs> music was playing chess without a friend. The music then started to grow essentially into the largest raccoon on Broadway. The traitor wanted to eat Tech essentially. Emu couldn't die. Emus couldn't defeat Tech, so they became Sin and made him eat Fortnite essentially. But Fucking hell. Why there's like, there's like four times <laughs> mentioning my name. I was there for one of those. Every third <laughs> word is sensual. <laughs> 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 I mean, it's called Sensually for a reason. Sensual Studios. By Sensual <laughs> Studios. Okay. Can we make this a book and sell it? Yes, yes, yes we can. I mean, and I, will. Yeah, when, we, when we get it. I'll put this in the background of a team poster. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay. But. But then. Tech. I'm gonna slow you up. Yeah, I'm thinking. All right. Realized. Can't tell if over speaking or not. She did. Just okay. <laughs> Hold on. I think uh, Carter should leave and rejoin again. Oh, yeah. Fix it. I'll see you guys later. Okay. Yeah, Hi. In in like half a minute. Morgan, it's your turn. Uh, but tech what? But then tech realized. That. That. Um. Hmm. He couldn't sleep. Lower. That technically said he couldn't sleep sensually. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. That was fast. Without. Cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> what? what? You heard me right. That he couldn't sleep sensually without cool kid. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Don't kill me. <laughs> Fortnite. You know what? Kill well, uh, Next sentence. Raccoons. Fart. Mm. Yeah. Oh. Yes, it's me. Um. Fought back against Rewe? Oh, oh. Okay, my screen back again. Um, Liji. <laughs> <laughs> what you say? Liji. Liji. Pools. Come again. Pools. Come, come again. P U L L S. Nani? L oh, what? I can't. I can't understand you. Sorry. Can you can you spell it out? Rice. Uh, rice. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I, I heard all. Like... I heard. <laughs> I said pools, and I give up, and I just say rice. <laughs> what? Raccoons fought back against Liji Rice. <laughs> what? Um. <laughs> what? You you development, Liji is Rice. <laughs> rice, R I S. He died for this. <laughs> he he dies to become Rice. Oh. Not, not the food uprising. Rice. 
<laughs> oh, oh, wow. Oh, God. It's me. That still doesn't make any sense. Recruit yeah, <laughs> it still doesn't. Raccoons fought against Liji Rise. Rising? Rise, okay. With a uh, comma. With utilizing. Oh, rise. Oh, comma. Comma. Raccoons Liji fought back rise. against Liji. Rise. Um, comma, rise. Yeah. What? Rise, comma, rise, and comma. Right. Raccoons fought back against Liji. Rise. Rise. <laughs> <laughs> What's so, rising? Sorry. I don't know. We're going to find out. Why sent you? <laughs> Damn it. Come. Um, mine is said. What? Like, rise, rise, said. Oh, oh, that makes everything make oh, so sense. Got, so you gotta put that in quotation. Yeah. That's, yeah. Yeah. That's sort of. Said. Lies. Liji. Sensually. Not again. <laughs> okay, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, not again. A half of I our can... dictionary is sensually. Anyway. Hello. Hello. Oh. Rise, rise. Said so said who essentially? Has she Luigi. said something? Luigi. New sentence. Luigi essentially. Yeah, new sentence. As. As. Emus. Emus. Sensualized. Ooh. God damn it. <laughs> Why? <laughs> No, hold on. Sensationalized, not sensualized. Yeah. Every round we have sensual. Do you spell that? Sens. Hold on. Sensation. Sensationalized. As in, turn something into a sensation. Yeah. I got it. I got it. <laughs> Just don't look at my typing on the stream. <laughs> uh, the. The comeback of of um, rock. Oh, <laughs> wives of rock. Why? What? What? Oh, Why? Sensationalized the uh, uh, rock. And then what did you say? Wife. Don't you? Wife. 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 Okay. Rook wife, aka Morgan. Uh, no. Nope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you made it Rook. as Emi sensation like the comeback of Rook wife. Rook wife. McQueen. Oh no! No! Put <laughs> you. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna leave. Queen, <laughs> mm. where do I go oh, from here? Uh, Will we start a new sentence? Yeah. The. Hmm. Morgan McQueen. No. <laughs> it's on your shirt, Morgan. Uh, I swear to you guys. The children? My Sorry. dream said you are Lightning McQueen and my dreams don't lie the to me. The children beat. Beat. <laughs> oh no. The children beat. <laughs> um. Hmm. Cata. Because. Um. Because. Comnando. Oh no. What have you done, Com? 
What have you done? I don't what? utilize child labor to slammer now. Oh, God damn it! I just I'm looking Wild. at what Fala's typing oh, because I, I, I can't hear what Olo is. Better. Because can you know? Ordered. Why am I getting beaten? Ordered. Because <laughs> Comiando ordered McDonald's. Sensually. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I'm, I'm just thinking. Okay, new sentence. Meanwhile. Oh, I'm dragged. Wow, why do you spell McDonald's like that? <laughs> what? Is it, is it McDon- like that? It's just an MC. Mark why is there an A there? <laughs> McDonald's. <laughs> McDonald's. Don't write McQueen. That's, not, that's, like, that's like Scottish McDonald's. It's Mac <laughs> as in McQueen. Is it not, it's M- not... Is it not McDonald's? No, it's, it's MC Donald's. It's like McDonald's Minecraft, McDonald's. McDonald's. Minecraft Donalds. Is it, is it's it like actually? MC Queen. No, it is. It's, yes, it's, it's it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. It's Mick. Yeah, because Mick Americans Donald. are lazy and can't have the extra A. Wait, wait, or you could just write Maccas. McDonald's. Just type in Maccas. It's not McDonald's? No, it's McDonald's. It's old McDonald's. Oh, McDonald's. God. It's McDonald's. I've been pronounced it wrong for my whole life. Well, no, I mean, Mac you can Donald. pronounce it however you want. It's just how we pronounce it. Old McDonald's. Mickey D. It's, it's the right way. No, but it's Old McDonald's. M- old McDonald's. It's McDonald's. It's like M- MC. It's not Mac. It's Muck. Muck. Mac McDonald's. Mac McDonald's. Don't bug you, man. That's just a different pronunciation between British and American English. No, like, or yeah, the same the pronunciation like difference. Us. Like, when we sing that song, it's Old MacDonald had a farm. Old MacDonald. Yeah. Old MacDonald. Yes. Old, old MacDonald. Mac- it's like M-I-C is how you pronounce it, Mick. It's not Mac. No, no, because when, but if you were doing, like, Muck, then that's like M-U-C, Muck. Like yeah. Mac- McDonald's. No, Mick. McDonald's. McQueen. It's not Mick, it's Mac. How do you it's, it's American? It's McDonald's, <laughs> but then Mc- yeah, it's, it's, it's a pronunciation that's it's just McDonald's. the M and the C. There's nothing in between. Yes, there it's is. Just, there's, Mc- there's no yes, A. Yes, there is. Mc- McDonald's. Me. McDonald. Mc. Anyway. Um. Uh, yeah, anyway. Whose turn is it? Who said meanwhile? Me. Me. Eh. Oh well. Uh, Your turn. Um. So hold on. So, what's the sentence so far? Because I kind of got lost there. Meanwhile. Oh. <laughs> meanwhile. Um, no, it's oh well. Morgan's turn. Oh, okay. Meanwhile. meanwhile. Oh well. Uh, beat up. No, beat. Up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I <Yeah>. got you. <laughs> Thanks, mate. <coughs> Helicopters. <laughs> what? <laughs> There's a helicopter going overhead right now. So should I just say sentry? You rainbow or something? I? Don't say should I say s- please no? We don't have to beat up sensuals this time. No, beat up helicopters. Uh, sexually. <laughs> God damn it! Every turn we have sexually. one sensually. Oh God! Uh, beat up sake. helicopters whilst. 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 Um. Wait, I thought it was Cadis' hmm. turn just then. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on though. So. Beat up helicopters whilst yeah. drinking. Ooh, trash. <laughs> wow. That is very gross and unethical. That's like, <laughs> that's like you know when you get the thin water at the bottom. Oh, yeah, that's, oh that's no! I was oh no! No! Oh no. 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 no! Don't remind me of that. No. I'm just imagining it. 
all the bad memories. This is why it's important to recycle. <laughs> yes. Get rid of bin water so I can enjoy yeah. my yeah, trash. Yeah, you drink the leftover water. Don't waste. Sorry, thank you. Oh. oh, that's disgusting. While drinking trash. I think Fortnite. Yeah, well, water drinking trash. We only need to wrap it up this sentence because we're coming to. Hmm. So. Water drinking trash. Lowlies, sure. Me what? Sure, why not? Yeah, oh, cool. okay. okay the FBI well, is here. Trash lowlies. The best sort of lowlies, obviously. Why trash do you lowlies. say lowlies? That thing. I, I don't know. Because Lolita Complex is the original word. Okay, the true question is who is trash Loli? Which trash Loli is trash? Meanwhile, Uwu, Uwu beat up helicopters whilst drinking trash Loli. Com, well, uh, how are you going to save this? Uh, <laughs> no! No! <laughs> no. But I don't know. Or just drink, the sentence drinking there. Cash only but no. Essentially. Stop. End of story. Yay. Yeah. Final sentence sensually, as it should be. <laughs> Final sentence. Can we can I just put out a any face at the end? Uh, sure, go ahead. I've already got one in there, so I can copy it. No, oh, fuck. But that is all we have time for this week, at least. Um, thank you for joining us this Earth Day for our little sort of celebration. I hope you can all go and enjoy the sunshine, just spend some time with the Earth, as it were. Not, not in that way. Don't take that out of give, context. Give the earth some headbats. <laughs> Make sure you recycle whatever you have for lunch, whatever you have for dinner, compost. Just put it on top of the bin so I can find if you it. Haven't, make, <laughs> make sure. <laughs> just try and change at least one thing. Try and remove one piece of plastic from your day every day. They now pay us to recycle, so I'm just going to go do that. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed today. I'm sure. We all had fun, so that was good. Oh, yeah. uh, we'll be back again next week on American Time, so be sure to join us then. And remember, yeah, I'll be driving. Earth Chan is not flat. Goodbye. Stay Ooh. sensual. <laughs>